Hello, and welcome back to Vestiges of History. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Dylan, and I hope to earn your interest and subscription as I share this story with you today. It is a bronze star medal named to a rather famous writer. Now, before we jump into the story, a little bit about the medal itself. The Bronze Star Medal is a decoration awarded to members of the United States Armed Forces for either heroic achievement, heroic service, meritorious achievement, or meritorious service in a combat zone. The engraving is custom and not in the style we typically see when a medal is identified to an individual. Usually, the engraving is at center. This one in particular is identified to an Elliot Arnold. Elliot Arnold was born Elliot Arnold Goldman on 13 September of 1912 in Brooklyn, New York. He was the son of Russian immigrant turned vaudeville singer Jacob Goldman and Gertrude Goldman. He had two little sisters, Florence and Alice, and little is known of his youth or adolescence other than that his family was Jewish and lived in several apartment houses in and around Brooklyn. So we see in the 1930 census that Elliot gives an occupation, a job, and he says that he is a reporter for a newspaper. This is interesting because he's a teenager at this point. So we dig into the story and we find out that as a young man, Elliot was in college and while there got a job as a reporter for the Brooklyn Times at the age of 18. Between 1932 and 1941, he wrote the books Personal Combat, Only the Young, Finlandia, and The Commandos. Then in the spring of 1942, Elliot joins the Army Air Forces, where he co-authored two official historical anthologies of the air war. The first was called Mediterranean Sweep, Air Stories from Al Alamein to Rome. This was a collaboration between a Major Richard Thrulson and a Lieutenant Elliot Arnold, published in 1944. And that was followed by Big Distance, which was the anthology about the air war in the Pacific, it was published in 1945 and was a collaboration with a Captain Donald Howe and a Captain Elliot Arnold. After four years in the Army Air Forces, he was awarded the Bronze Star by General MacArthur while stationed in the Philippines. He was discharged with the rank of captain. After the war, Elliot became a prolific writer of novels, short stories, and articles. His works include Time of the Gringo, Flight from Ashia, A Night of Watching, The Proving Ground, and The Camp Grant Massacre. Among his books, Elliot Arnold is best known for his 1947 novel, Blood Brother, adapted as the 1950 motion picture Broken Arrow, starring Jimmy Stewart, and a 1956 TV series of the same name. That was followed by an adaptation of A Flight from Ashia, and was released by United Artists in 1964. His 1949 biography of Sigmund Romberg was made into the 1954 musical Deep in My Heart. Elliot Arnold died on 13 May 1980 in New York City. So I recently discovered that he donated his papers to the Special Collections at University of Arizona and he occupies 25 linear feet of their collection space. Those collections include photos, his writings, manuscripts from before World War II, including some scrapbooks and squadron scrapbooks from his time in the service. You can bet that's where we're gonna go next. Now be sure to check back in for that in the coming months, as I'm sure it will shed a lot more light on Elliot and his life. Now I'll see you in the next edition with a fresh story. And remember, you never know who will tell your story. So live a storied life.